So this is a demo of how you can uh, customize the look and feel of your Roam Research uh, personal graph. Um, so in every Roam, if you create, you can create a page called Roam slash CSS. It has to be named exactly that, all lowercase. And if you visit that page, um, I'm going to undo this filter for a second, uh, and you insert some text um, uh, in a code block. So you have to you have to put in a code block like this slash code block, um, and you know, like put in some styles, which I will show in in, in a moment. Um, uh, and you have to set it to CSS. Uh, if it is set to CSS, it will change the theme of your whole graph um, for you and anybody else on that that's visiting this. Um, one thing, though, is that uh, you can filter these pages, or you can filter any, any page in Rome, this little filter option. And this is on a per user database, per, per user, it's a per user setting. So if you're sharing uh, a Rome graph with a few other people, and you want to, you know, only include um, a certain filter, or if you want to remove a themes that other people have, um, if you filter it out, then the theme will disappear. Um, but that is, uh, it applies to, um, by default, everyone, everyone is going to have no filters applied. So I'm actually going to just change it from, to no longer say it is CSS so that it doesn't read it. Uh, now, that said, you need to know how to write CSS, and it can be a, a little bit of a pain to, to customize this, this whole thing. So you might want an idea of where to look. If you go into this question mark, uh, this, this little help buffer, um, you'll see a link to the help database. Uh, and if you click that link, I'm going to actually just skip ahead because our help database can take a little while to load. And you go to um, Rome Cult themes, uh, you can actually see a number of themes made by folks uh, in the Rome community. And the code snippet is right here um, for that. It gives you a, uh, the name of the person, their Twitter handle. Um, and if you want to say thank you because you love the theme, um, you can go ahead and, uh, and here's a, there's a link to their PayPal. Um, so I'm going to actually show uh, one of my favorite, personal favorite themes here. Um, do we already have the right to left in here? Yeah, not yet? Yeah, great. Okay. Um, so if we scroll down, this is one of my favorite themes. Um, because if you write in Arabic or Hebrew uh, or Farsi or another right to left language, um, this will change your Rome to be right to left. So actually what I'm just going to do is I'm going to click into into here. I'm going to command A a few times, copy all of that. I'm going to go back to my Rome CSS page. And if I paste it, now all of my Rome is right to left. Um, and if I go in here and I change it to closure, now it is back to normal. Um, so that's that hope you uh, enjoy these themes and you can also mix and match them which is kind of nice um, so actually let's let's close down this um, I'm gonna I'm gonna show one thing real quick which I thought was very cool uh, um, Maggie Appleton really took this Rome gardening thing to the next level um, by showing that you could customize the tags, um, like you could, you could set custom styles to your, um, uh, to your, to tags based on the tag itself. So I'm going to just actually grab just, just Maggie's custom styles for, um, just here. If I go back here, let's go with custom tags and let's paste this 
this in as um, as CSS. And now, what I will do is I will give some examples of how you might customize this. Um, so let's let me close this down. Uh, I'm actually going to right click here and open this in the sidebar so that I can edit it over here. And let's just take a look at some of the things. We've got lit literature notes. Oop, is that right? Maybe we didn't spell it quite right. Um, let's start. Oh, wait. I have, I have this as CSS. That's good. Um, let's just try hashtag evergreen. Evergreens. There we go. Um, so yeah, we have to, have to remove some of these. There's a little bit of an error. That was our error when we were transcribing things. Let's try later to notes again. There we go. And so now, um, if I decide, if I've pasted in this this custom tag, and I decide I want to change something, I can actually go click on this little this little thing, and I can change the color around. Maybe I want evergreen to be that instead. Um, and once I click away, all of my evergreen tags will be there. So this is a great way of just, uh, and we might separate this out from some of the other themes because it's a great way of um, making it very easy for you to say that you want certain, like if, if you decide that, that you want, you know, any of your like urgent to-dos or something, if I take something with like urgent um, and I want it to be, Uh, much like that whole line to be much bigger. Um, then let's just change this one to say urgent, and let's make the line height, you know, five M's, and we'll make the background color red. There we go. Oh, and then we need to make the uh, maybe we don't need the line height to be that. We need you know, the padding to be 70 pixels and 30 pixels. Let's try that. There you go. That's, that's quite a background color. Obviously, we don't really want to do that, but uh, yeah, this just shows you how you can tweak your room. And these changes will apply to any visitor of your page as well and anyone you're collaborating with. So there you go. Happy gardening.